Hey, what is up, everybody? It's Scott Orson. Today, I got a cool little review for you. I got the two pack Evolutions Bumblebee set. And with this two-pack set, you guys get the Age of Extinction Bumblebee and one Classics Bumblebee, which very looks cool in this packaging. And you only can pick this up at Toys R Us. So the packaging itself is pretty cool. Basically, it just reads Bumblebee down there. Then, you know, the same little Age of Extinction packaging that they have that reads Transformers on the side. And then if you guys look at the top, you guys have a cool little piece, um, clip art picture of Bumblebee, you know, the new Age of Extinction sign right there, and then a little Autobot symbol right there, which is pretty cool. And then if you turn to the back, you guys will see the classics Bumblebee in his robot mode and car mode and then you'll see the Age of Extinction's Bumblebee in his robot mode and car mode which is really really cool. Yeah, only 10 steps to transform the classics one, which is pretty cool. And only 18 to transform this new mode of Bumblebee. And I don't know if this is an exclusive or not, but I got 22 of 30, so that's pretty cool. So let's open these guys up and see how cool these guys are. Okay, so I got these guys out of packaging, and these guys look freaking awesome. Overall, you have to get these guys. These guys are just freaking cool. I'm looking at this freaking Camaro and the new mold that they did. It looks awesome. I'm really liking it with the, like, the nice black rims and all that stuff and it just looks really amazing amazing and that paint job looks freaking tight i'm liking it i'm really really liking this figure and it's just freaking cool like i'll, I'll get into it later but um yeah we'll just put him right here and then we have this guy this guy looks freaking cool i'm really liking his transformation even though he's a little guy he does have a big weapon which is pretty cool and it has a cool little auto mechanism if you pull this back and then you know it just slides up so let's get into reviewing these guys okay so first up we have this bumblebee the um camaro one we're just gonna put this one back here by the way so we have this guy, the uh, new concept Camaro, and it looks freaking amazing. I'm really liking how they did this guy, and just overall, it's really, really nice. And I'm liking that nice black that they put into here with that nice striping overall, the black, and then those nice cool vents that they molded onto there. So that looks pretty cool. And then they have that nice uh, that windshield piece right here to, um, you know, the nice blue that they always tend to use on the uh, Bumblebee figure. So that's pretty cool. And then what they did right here is they gave him some black rims. So I'm really liking that. Black is like a nice color, you know, I don't know if it's really considered a color but it's really cool and then they gave him some nice little grooves right here and a nice Autobot symbol but they did not paint it which kind of it's whatever and then if you guys go into the back it's just you know some nice plain cool detail back here where he should have some headlights and a license plate and a nice little Chevy um, license or symbol right there if you guys can see that better luck if you guys want to see this it's really cool they have the nice little exhaust pipe even though it's not painted it still looks cool I'm really liking this guy and then if you guys turn to the side you guys can see some more of his rims which look really cool and the wheels do roll so that's pretty cool both sides and then on the side there's another Autobot symbol right there which is barely you can make out but then again just all this cool little grooves and stuff that they use in a nice little color it's a darker yellow but I'm really liking it and then again with that black um, striping on top is really cool it's just it just makes the figure pop to me and then if you guys come to the front you guys can see those cool little blue painted um, headlights in the front so that's pretty cool well not really blue but kind of grayish blue so that's pretty cool and then some nice little black right here and then if you guys can see they have a little Chevy symbol right there again so that's pretty cool and this guy really does roll so that's pretty cool let me just um yeah there you go and he can really roll so that's pretty cool nothing really hinders him and then on the bottom if you guys can check this out um he has a cool little way of storing his weapons two of these little throwing stars so that's pretty cool and then here's bumblebee if you guys can make that out so let's transform this guy and if you guys were looking for some cool comparison i actually have the other age of extinction bumblebee right here which looks really really cool um this guy is actually a little bit smaller than this guy so you know it does match up because this car is kind of smaller than this car so you know it is kind of accurate so that's pretty cool and if you guys are looking for some other comparison here is actually from the movie or the other previous movies the Camaro which is really cool Um, they did do a bigger mold but you know the height isn't that much of a difference but they do still look cool as you guys can see with the pinstriping they did a different um they did one with a different look like basically they went opposite so it was black on here they made yellow and what was yellow on here they kind of made black just for the pinstriping if you guys can see so this would be this part right here and this part would be this side out here so that's pretty cool and then again you guys can tell from them um, they did a different mold on this guy so it's pretty cool but still still a really cool figure if you guys can see that you know they didn't it's not like they downgrade or anything i'm really liking this guy he's really really nice and then again the nice little blue um tint right there so that's pretty cool okay so let's transform this guy by the way you guys do know i'm kind of messy at transformer so please forgive me so basically what you guys want to do is you guys can actually unpuckle this thing right here and it kind of uh, reveals the legs somewhat and then you guys can actually go to these two sides in the front and kind of undo 
through the two side pieces right here, which is pretty cool. And it just comes, kind of pops down real quick. And then if you guys want to go to the front, you got, uh, let me focus this out, I'm sorry. You guys can go right here. And then you guys have uh, Bumblebee's little face piece or his head piece or face, whatever you guys want to say. And there he is almost. And then you guys can just pop open his chest and take this piece right here and actually bring this piece down into there. Ah, uh, my bad. Eh, sorry guys. You guys can actually bring that into there, which will put that right there. Then you guys close open that chest right there. So there you have the top part of him almost done. And then what you guys want to do is for the bottom, you guys got to make sure, remember, remove these little star pieces because they do tab in at the bottom again, like I said. And you guys can go to the bottom. Yeah, Remember how that unhinged. Then you have this. Then you go to right here. Then you guys can pop out his two feet like so. Pop out his feet. Then you pop this in. Ah, he popped that in right here like so then you guys want to rotate his foot around and boom you guys almost have bumblebee transformed which is really does look pretty awesome then you guys do the same thing to this one close this in right here rotate that up right there then rotate this back around to where um the things are on the back and then boom you have bumblebee and then you guys can pull these little flat pieces down right here on the back and then again on this side pull those down on the back and just make sure their face kind of not to the back but not to the side i guess so that this thing actually pops into the back and almost done then you guys can go to the back right here and you guys can actually take this little piece right here and actually lift it up a little bit uh does it still lift up let me see uh, uh i'm trying to get it <laughs> sorry guys uh, 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 i thought it did lift up but unfortunately it doesn't lift up but i was pretty sure it did i'm pretty sure it does lift up let me see okay my bad guys so it does lift up i'm just really weak at doing this so basically you just gotta get it Oh my gosh, am I like weak or something? I cannot get this thing to lift up. So you close that and then you go like this. And, oh, okay, my bad, guys. And then you, you guys gotta pop this thing up. I knew I was doing something wrong. You guys will pop this up. Have that go right there. Or have it, uh, yeah, have it go right here. And then almost have this piece. And then boom, you have his back kind of. So that's pretty much his back piece right here. If you guys can see that, just pops up and, you know, lays right there. And then if you guys go right here, you can't really do nothing about the back piece up here. If you guys can see, you can't really do nothing about that. It just sits like that. You can, you guys can move it back, but it just sits right there. It doesn't fold down or nothing. So basically, I'm going to have Bumblebee transformed. And what you want to do for him to finish his transformation is you go to his arms and make sure you close these things kind of underneath him or his windshields and put them underneath him. And voila, you have the new mode of Transformers Bumblebee um, Age of Extinction. So this is actually the new mode and he looks freaking cool. Okay, so guys, first off, this mode looks freaking amazing. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This guy looks awesome. If you guys can tell, just so freaking amazing. I'm really liking how they did this guy. It's, it's just really nice and I'm just liking everything about it he just sticks out like the black that they put in him and the yellow it just makes him stick out way more than the previous figures it's really really nice and just really really cool so let's get into some details so basically you guys can see his face which is really really cool and i'm just really really liking that it's just really awesome and then, i don't know it just screams sweetness to me if you guys can see his face it's just really cool and i'm liking it i'm really liking it a lot um basically this is him in his face and it looks really cool and then again if you go to his chest you guys can see some cool little detail right there his chest really isn't the front of the car anymore it's just another piece that they added on some so that's pretty cool and you guys can see all this cool little detail into there and his feet all oh, just really nice and his feet i like his feet way better now because he can stand up just a little bit easier and he has more support down there so that's pretty cool and you guys can see some of the little gears and stuff right there that are molded and you guys can come to the back and see the tires and all the back just really cool just a nice cool little backpack piece that they gave him and then on the sides again those black rims really really nice and then the arms just really cool and his hands his hands are really cool they're kind of not they're not all the way closed and they're not all the way open so that's pretty cool and he can actually hold his stars really really nice so that's pretty cool and you guys can see on the other side same thing really cool and really nice and then again uh, back to his cool looking face i like the face because it makes it look like he's way more mature now you know not as much of a kid but um you know that could just be 
be me or it could be something else. I don't know. He just looks way more different, and I'm really liking it. It looks really better to me. Okay, guys, so now let's hop into some articulation. Basically, his head is on a ball joint, and, you know, he can look left, right, all that cool. And he has, like, a nice little um, translucent blue thing right there so where you can see his eyes, but you guys can't really see it that much. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then, um, you know, just go to the arms, and they can actually go swivel side to side, and then, um, you know, go open and out. So that's pretty cool. And then bend at the elbow, and I'm really liking that. It bends at the elbow and then this can move right here and then no really articulation at his hands but um you know they are there so that's pretty cool and then if you go to the other side it's the same thing you can go in and out and then has a nice little swivel to it so it can go 360 so that's pretty cool and then um if you guys want it can bend at the elbow so that's pretty cool and i'm really liking that because they gave this guy a nice little range of motion so that's really cool um at the at the middle of his um body he doesn't have any waist articulation but it is pretty cool um his legs can go out really really far so you can do if you want to do a karate kick or whatever and then you know both sides so those can go in and out and they both bend on both sides at the knee so that's pretty cool so it's a good range of motion so you can put them in some good poses and I'm really liking that and then again on the other side you know you can bend right there so he has a cool little range of motion and his joints are super tight and then again right here if you guys want he has a cool um, joint piece right here so where it bends right here at this area right here it bends right there and then um, it has a little cool little joint piece right here to help him move a little bit more so that's pretty cool and then again on the same time it bends on the same joint or leg it bends right here right there so that's pretty cool and then bends right here so that's pretty cool and then again it's this little um flat for his transformation you guys can count on some articulation too so that's pretty cool so guys time to get into his weapons basically here's his weapons um throwing little dagger star things which are looking freaking tight um I guess they're supposed to be part his wheels in the movie or something. I don't know. I haven't seen the movie yet. I know. Sorry. But, um, yeah, here they are. Just some cool little plain black throwing stars. And the thing that I like about these guys is they actually fit into his hand. So, basically, what you want to do if you want to put them in his hand is just get them and just put them in his hand. And then you have one in his hand right there. And then you guys get the other one and just peg it into his hand. And now he has two cool little throwing stars. So, if you want, he, he can throw them at you. What? So yeah, that's pretty cool. Overall, I have to say this figure is really amazing and I'm freaking happy I got this guy. I can add him to my collection and just looking at him, I'm liking the mold and I'm going to have to use this guy in the animation just because of him. Like, look at this guy and just amazing. And the thing that I like about his hands is I'm not too sure on it, but it looks like maybe if I were to stretch out his hands, he can hold the cannon that goes to the other bumblebee, this cannon. So I'm not too sure, um, you know, if I take it out right now. Right, so it's like maybe too big, but maybe I can do a little bit of tweaking to where he can hold the cannon too, so that would be pretty cool. And also, guys, if you guys are wondering, if you guys come over here and take this bumblebee, you guys can actually take out his little gun piece and actually kind of tap it into his hand so where he can have this gun, so that looks pretty cool. And then again, I was going to show you the, a little mechanism with him, but basically I'll just show you with him. If you get this little black tab and pull it back, boom, he has that little motion, and then if you let go, it comes back, so that's pretty cool. And I'm liking this weapon, it looks really cool. So bam, ba bam, ba bam, ba bam, bam, bam. Okay, guys, so time to get into this little guy. This guy has a cool transformation. I'm liking it, but first, we gotta get into some details. So, basically, if I can get a little bit closer, let me focus that for you. Can you guys see that? All right, here you go, guys. Here he is, just a nice little yellow, cool little Autobot symbol. I honestly have to say, he has way more paint apps than that guy, but uh, who cares? This guy is freaking awesome. Just, you know, a cool little cool car, I guess, for when he was on Cybertron or something. So, basically, what you guys wanna do to transform this guy is you guys can actually come right here and peg these two sides out, and there you guys almost have that. You guys can come to the side. Pop that down, flip that down like that, pop that, then you go right here, flip that down, pop that in, boom, have his hands and arms, and then you guys can come to the front, pull down these two little cool feet, and almost done. You guys think he's transformed? No, he's not. You guys go right here, pull that piece right there, boom, his legs pop up, pull down his back hood, them. Here we go. We have Transform Bumblebee Classics version, and he looks freaking amazing. Really cool. Just a really nice, amazing figure, and I'm having to do this quick. So, yeah, he looks nice. I honestly have to say, nice. So as you guys can see, his paint apps and all that thing is really cool and basic. He, all he has is black, you know, yellow, and some gray in his face. I can't really get a close-up of his face because of my camera. I'm sorry, guys. But as you guys can see, there is a cool little Autobot symbol right there. Uh, see his face now and his Autobot symbol yes you can he looks freaking amazing and yeah so basically for some articulation his articulation is just like that dude back there um you know it goes up it goes side to side and then it bends at the elbow so that's pretty cool his hands no really articulation right there then the same thing can go can go 360 it's on a little ball joint so they can actually close it like flex like who you looking at 
who you looking at? Can you guys see that? Oh, so that's pretty cool. And I'm really liking this guy. So his arms, you know, have that cool little range of motion right there. So that's pretty cool. And then the legs on ball joints and bent at the knee. So that's pretty cool. And then some little articulation right there for free if you guys want to count that. And then again right there. And then right there. So that's pretty cool. And his head really can't move. It's just a solid piece right there. So that's not too big of a deal. And then if you guys are wondering, can this little guy hold his gun? Of course he can. You guys just got to peg it in to the hand. Uh, let me get that right there right there and boom he has his gun which is almost bigger than him but it is pretty cool because then again you guys can do this ba -bam, ba -bam, ba -bam, ba -bam, bam 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 and there is some quick size comparison for you guys as you guys can see he's actually the same height as the uh, octane bumblebee and you look almost the kind of same height as crosshairs and just a little bit taller than uh drift and then again hound and evasion mode transformers Optimus Prime is way taller than this dude. So yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Scott Orr saying peace out. Subscribe. subscribe.